What's up, YouTube? Got this uh, UPS ground shipment. All the way from the C. Hi, in a corporation. You're gonna need a nice sharp screwdriver if you order one of these to get yourself inside of the box. You got a nice sharp screwdriver, didn't you just tell me? Getting serious. Four-wheel drive series. What do we have here? Come show me. Ooh, a piece of cable. Ooh, some bolts. 8.8 .8 bolts. That's good. <coughs> nice pair of gloves, but they smell kind of like beef rendering. Maybe it's just plastic. Some stickers for your uh, for your four wheel drive vehicle. I bought this to put on the trailer. It's a 13,000 pound electric winch. Just got a, you just come in and show them this stuff closer. That feels pretty good. It's hard plastic, but that's the same thing my bell bed is and it works really good. It's pretty nice little handle, hook, and uh, I'm not sure what the little piece of nylon is all about. Oh, okay, that's for hanging your hook on. It looks like a pretty decent setup. How many years has it been? Since my winch got stolen? Yeah. I don't know. But well, we will never forget it. <laughs> it was an awesome winch, and we've never had another one since. And I've searched the internet, and I've searched the world from end to end, and it does not exist. So this is what we bought to replace something that was... Plastic. Well, it was complete... We, this is what we bought to replace something that's completely unbreakable that got stolen that we had. So... Like a cable like this, that winch we had, if it bound up, it snapped this cable instantly. I mean, instantly. It pulled so hard that one time I had railroad ties stacked behind the pickup and it pulled me over the railroad ties. And it ran off a 12 volt battery too. One time there was a car half buried in the sand on its side and I winched the car in half with it. But, uh, <laughs> well it wouldn't come out of the ground. <laughs> it was a rusty old car, but I winched it completely in half right down the middle. I cabled around it with that cable that I had and winched and tied. I staked the truck down with yeah. with T-post and chained it down and another truck. And but anyways, we can't do that kind of stuff with this one, of course. But it's got this little control box. Looks pretty nice. I'm sure it bolts on here or something. Pretty heavy, but seems solid enough. Feels like a good heavy electric motor, so I don't know. And it comes with a, also with these two remotes. That's pretty cool. I don't know why you need two, but might, hopefully it's not because they're so crappy that one breaks right away. And then this little roller to help, I guess, guide the cable. I never had no fancy stuff like that. But anyway, so we're gonna put this on our trailer and hopefully that'll step our loading and uh, holding stuff down game up a little bit. So anyways, guess we'll check you later, peace.